Welcome to the Thursday before Easter. I'm Pastor Pete and I have your word for the day. Today, we're going to talk about denial. No, not the river in the Egypt and not the psychological term, he's in denial. We're going to talk about Peter's denial of Jesus. The account is found in Matthew 26, but before Peter denies that he even knows Jesus, there's a conversation that he and Jesus had during dinner earlier that night. Jesus had told his disciples that they would all abandon him. Peter argued with Jesus, saying he would never fall away. Jesus explained that actually Peter would deny Jesus three times before the rooster crowed in the morning. Peter continued to argue with Jesus, saying that he would even die before abandoning Jesus. Just so we don't paint Peter in too negative of a light, the other disciples had said similar things. Then Jesus was arrested. Judas betrayed Jesus and the guards took Jesus into custody. Peter and John followed behind to find out what would happen to Jesus. They managed to get into the courtyard where Jesus was judged before the high priest. Jesus was standing before his accusers. Lies were being told about him. Jesus was being spit upon, hit, and mocked. Meanwhile, Peter was standing at a distance, watching, and no doubt fear was growing in his heart. And here's what Matthew wrote about the account. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard and a servant girl came to him and said, you were also with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before them all saying, I don't know what you mean. And then he went out to the entrance and another servant girl saw him. And she said to the bystanders, this man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again, he denied it with an oath I do not know the man. Now keep in mind, Peter had no real threat here. These were servant girls asking him if he followed Jesus. It wasn't a religious leader. It wasn't a government official. But the fear of the moment had gotten the brash and bold fishermen to break his promise to stay true to Jesus. The story continues. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you too are one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I don't know the man. And immediately the rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the saying of Jesus, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and he wept bitterly. Peter became adamant in his denial. He didn't know Jesus. He promised, I don't know him. And then the roast rooster crowed and the conviction of what he had done crashed in on Peter. Let's be honest about ourselves. We've all denied Jesus in some way. Perhaps like Peter, we verbally said, no, I'm not a Christian or I don't believe all that stuff about Jesus. Maybe we've denied him by our silence. When we had the opportunity or the duty to speak up, we didn't say a word. I know I've had times when I should have said something to recognize Jesus in my life, and I didn't say the words that I should have said. Maybe we've denied Jesus with our actions, saying that we follow on Sunday, but then the other six days of the week, we live like we don't even know him. Do you feel convicted? I know I do. We all can weep with Peter over our failures to clearly follow and proclaim our allegiance to Jesus. But there's good news. This is a spoiler alert. So if you don't know how the story ends, I'm gonna tell you, Jesus offers forgiveness and restoration to Peter. You can read about this forgiveness in John 21, but after his resurrection from, from the dead, Jesus and Peter had a conversation. Jesus gives Peter the chance three times to verbally state his love for Jesus. And Jesus three times directs Peter to teach God's word to his people. Isn't that good? Peter didn't have to live under the crushing weight of that denial. Jesus forgave him and reinstated him to lead the church. We don't have to live under the guilt and the shame of the ways that we've denied Jesus either. There is forgiveness. I hope that you'll watch tomorrow's Good Friday Word for the Day to find out what's so good about this day 
and to find out how Jesus made a way for this great forgiveness that we experience. Have a wonderful day.